here we know that the velocity is equaling 2 pi r divided by t, and the centripetal acceleration may be written as 4 pi squared times r divided by t squared. And essentially, we can uh, express the result in terms of g. So the acceleration associated with Earth's spin would be acceleration would be equal to g multiplied by 4 pi squared times the radius of the Earth, 6.37 times 10 to the 6th meters. This would be divided by uh, period squared, so 86,400 seconds quantity squared multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared and this is equaling 3.4 times 10 to the negative third g this would be our answer for part a for part b we know that the acceleration of associated with the earth's motion around the sun here t is equaling one year and this is equaling 3.156 times 10 to the seventh seconds and so essentially the acceleration would equal g times 4 pi squared uh, multiplied by 1.5 times 10 to the 11th meter. This would be Earth's orbit around the sun. This would be divided by 3.156 times 10 to 7 meters per second. Quantity, sorry, 3.156 times 10 to the 7th seconds, not meters per second. Quantity squared multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared. And so the acceleration associated with Earth's orbit around the sun, this would be 6.1 times 10 to the negative fourth g. This would be our answer for part b. And for part c then, the acceleration associated with the solar systems around the center, uh, we can say that here, the period of our own solar system around, I guess, uh, essentially the center of the Milky Way, uh, this would be 2.5 times 10 to the eighth years, and this would be equal to 7.1, 7.9 rather, times 10 to the 15th seconds. And so the acceleration here would be equal to g times four pi squared. Uh, this would be multiplied by 2.2 times 10 to the 20th meters. This would be essentially the mean distance, the center of our solar system, the center of the Milky Way. And then this would be divided by 7.9 times 10 to the 15th seconds quantity squared multiplied by 9.8 meters per second squared. And we find the acceleration equaling 1.4 times 10 to the negative 11th g. This would be our answer for part C. That is the end. Thank you for watching.